Hi friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome if you're new. I am working on the Inspired to Create prompt for the first week in September. This prompt uh, is washy, as you can see, and this is just the challenge that Melissa and I from Messy Missy Creates came up. Uh, we came up with it for just ourselves, really, to challenge ourselves with a weekly journaling prompt. You are more than welcome to join in. We encourage you, we invite you, and you can do whatever you would like with the prompts. So, for this week, I chose words that started with each of the letters. For W, I chose words. For A, I chose art scrap. S, I had seashell. H, I chose hexagon. And I, I'm struggling with. <laughs> so you saw me pull some uh, distress stain, I guess, out. I think it's ink, but, and I looked at some Heidi Swap spray just not loving it yet. And so I'm looking for another I word. Now, um, I am the first to admit we are at a point in the year where I at least am struggling to find some prompts or come up with new prompts. And so I know a couple weeks ago, uh, we had like asked you guys to come up with some prompts and you guys had a great list. And I was hoping we had a word that had more of the same letters in it, quite frankly, because I am, I am struggling and I'm conscious of the fact that a lot of these prompts I have used before. So like definitely words I've used art scrap. I'm not too sure. I think we've used something close to it, right? Maybe ephemera or cluster or something of that nature, but, uh, you know, something similar. S is seashell. I'm pretty sure I've used seashell. H is hexagon. I know I've used that. If I haven't used it, I definitely sent it to Melissa to use. So, um, but look what I found in my little book. I found a page that says idea. And I was like, I have not used that. I don't think, I don't think. So anyway, I'm going to use that. And, um, par for the course, I'm going to put it down as a background. I, I tend to, I choose a plain piece of paper to create on and I put that into my journal, but on that plain piece of paper, I usually end up putting some sort of kind of background down as a, as a base layer. In fairness, some of our words have had like eight. I think we even did a word with nine. And so I needed like literally to just use a background. <laughs> so, so for W, for words, I chose a couple little pages out of my daily calendars, if you will. You can see the two quotes right there. And I'm just trying to figure out kind of which one might go best. And like with the idea at the top, I felt like the one, the quote on the left, um, you know, maybe fit better with it. So I think like every choice that I make may kind of determine where the page goes, if that makes sense. So like once I committed to the idea page, that that now determines like some things, right? Maybe a color prompt because we're kind of in that yellow mustard color or, um, I, yeah, I don't know. It just, or maybe the, the quote itself kind of fits better with the word idea. I don't know, at least in my brain. So I think that once we kind of choose things and then, as you know, like that prompt that I'm going to use, the green words is on green paper or teal or whatever. So that kind of color brings in a third color, right? So I just think as the page progresses, hey, here's a tip. Uh, when you're going to glue stuff down, maybe cut it before you glue it. Um, not this part. I, um, I mean the beginning part. <laughs> I actually put glue on it and then had to remeasure it and cut it to, because I wanted it to I really like the top of that paper. You guys have seen me keep it before. That part that comes out of the ring bound with those little tabs on the top. I really like that. So I want to keep it. All right. I've written down my props there for, for all of our enjoyment uh, and to hold me accountable because a couple times it's like, oh, I'm all done. It's like, oh, no, actually I'm not done. I still need to add a prompt. So, all right. I'm now looking at word. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at art scraps and I have, look at these fun little stickers. Those are from Belinda and I, so are the little painty papers over on the right. And I'm just trying to decide, look at that gorgeous envelope from Happy Mail. And that tag also came from Happy Mail. So I'm just trying to decide. Now, I also have this other little piece of paper right here that came out of my Happy Mail bucket. So it's from one of you. It has hexagons on it. Um, and the middle one is like 
coffee painted tea stained or something. So I'm really wanting to use those painty papers, but I'm struggling a little bit with like the colors, like if it flows and then I'm, look at that, look at that piece of dyed paper. So that's going to be my art scrap. And then I'm going to also use some of those other hexagon paper. Look how gorgeous that is, you guys. And of course, I'm saving that other piece. Don't panic. Of course, I'm saving it. Um, and then here's this other paper that literally has been in my Happy Mail drawer forever. And I'm, I'm using it. I'm using it for the hexagon prompt. And I'm punching a hexagon out of it. So um, I, I love this challenge for that reason, because I'm very concrete often in my thinking. And I just don't pull random things from my pages very often. Like I, I wouldn't really put hexagons on today's page necessarily. Why? I don't know. There's no reason they would look amazing on today's page. Right. And so this is just like a fun, a fun way to encourage me to to use my stuff, you guys, to use my stuff. And so I don't know, that's, that's what I really enjoy about it. And to kind of push my, my thinking of, it doesn't have to make sense, or it doesn't have to be for a reason that I use it today. I think the idea paper is super cute. Uh, and I, and I'm loving like, and I do love the quote, it says, uh, may your joy be as deep as the ocean. And I just love that. So I think, I think it all fits very well. So I'm going to spend a couple minutes like cutting that out and laying it out maybe a little bit. And, uh, those stickers to the, to the left, you can see that Belinda sent me, they, one of them has a seashell on it. And so I'm going to use that one as well. Super cute, super cute. And then there is my seashell paper. Now it's just a piece of regular paper that I sent through my embosser, my Sizzix with an embossing folder on it of seashells. And it's so cute. I'm just trying to decide like what, what piece I want and like which direction. Cause I, I, I kind of want as much of it as possible, but it's also a little bit more difficult to tear. If you guys work with embossed paper like this, obviously when you emboss it, it uh, weakens the integrity of the paper where it's embossed right? That's what makes the impression. And so then when you tear it, it wants to tear on those lines. And so if I wanted, like, you just, you just kind of got to give into it. Like when it tears, it tears along certain lines and it just, it is what it is. So it's a little bit jaggedy on one edge, but that's okay. So I really like it, but it's not like popping if, well, I don't even know if that's the right word. Like I really like it, but it's not fitting on that page the way I want it to. Maybe it is popping too much. I d it's too white and the seashells like are not, I don't know. Okay. So here I'm like going to tear a little bit more off. You can see how it cuts. It tears right along those seashell lines. Um, yeah. So we're going to glue it and then I think we're going to make other life decisions. We'll see. I might have figured this situation out beforehand. I can't quite remember, but it is what it is. Now, I've decided that the glue stick may not be the best option for that embossed paper because the embossed paper is not flat. And here we go. So I'm going to add some of that gold spray to it to kind of bring it and match it to that background paper, if you will. Um, I put the liquid glue on it because I feel like it, you know, it pops up a little bit more and it can get into those nooks and crannies, if you will, of that embossed paper. And sometimes the glue stick doesn't quite work as well for that. And so I just thought I would play it on the safe side. So I, you saw me put some of that, um, Tombow mono adhesive down. And I think, I think, um, I mean, it's a, it's a great glue. I, you could have used any liquid glue there, but I think with the embossed paper, maybe that was the way to go. So I'm totally happy with that. The gold shimmer paint, that's a Heidi Swap. Um, oh, what do they call those? Yeah, Heidi Swap Color Shine. I don't know. Uh, what color? What color, you ask? Yeah, gold. I don't know. Yeah, gold, literally. Okay, not too, not too complicated. So... <laughs> 
Here is where I also would suggest maybe you ink before you glue. So you saw me put some glue on the back of that and then decide. Again, they're just not popping or like separating maybe. It just, I don't know why. It just was standing out to me. I'm not a big inker. I don't ink everything certainly, but these just kind of were not, were not standing out to me. And I wanted to tie in a little bit of the black from the word at the top and there's no other black on the paper. And so even in the quote, right. And so I wanted to kind of ink those, ink those in, uh, in black to make them stand out a little bit. And then, you know, what happens? So here I'm just crossing off, right? Look at you guys. We've used all the prompts except one already. I mean, amazing, right? Um, now, I don't know if you're like me, but I I feel like once once you start inking, it's very hard to stop because if some elements on your page are inked and then others aren't, it's kind of like they... So here, look, it's like, oh, get out the ink again. And so I'm going to go ahead and ink all those edges of those words and put them down. That's just me. I don't know if it's, I, I mean, I think a lot of people are kind of like that, but I don't know. I can't ink just one part of something, I guess is what I'm saying. And I don't ink at all. I don't ink the white page. Right. So, uh, I'm just going to lay those words down. I obviously cut the quote out into the strips of, uh, you know, of the words, the way they were laid out on the paper. I'm just cutting it apart and we'll, we'll put it on there in kind of like, it's not supposed to be straight. I would rather it almost looks like it's supposed to be straight or balanced. And I really try actually not to do that because it rarely turns out completely straight or balanced. And so then it looks a little crooked. So I like things kind of to counterbalance things and intentionally not be completely centered or whatever, I guess. I don't know. So I'm just putting down those words and then look at that cute little sticker thing at the bottom. Is it not adorable? And it has the perfect little seashell on it. So that's my other art scrap. Um, if the middle hexagon doesn't, doesn't count, right? As that beautiful dyed paper from one of you. So thank you. And then there was also some like uh, seashells, which you've seen I've cut out of the, the same quote page. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to add those as well. But again, I got to ink stuff now. Now I'm into inking mode. And so we're going to ink that little sticker and put it down and then finish up the quote. Those little uh, inks are fun. Those are the little cat eye ones. Um, let me see what brand color box, color box ones and they're pigment, pigment ink. And it's a fun little size. I also have little square ones and I also have little daubers, but they're, it's just nice for like, you know, little things. And I don't mind inking up a stamp with them. I don't ink, I don't stamp that much. So the little tiny sizes work well for me. I have, I do have quite a few of the bigger inks just from when I used to stamp more, but I like the little ones on my desk and, and they work great for certainly things like this. And you can have a bunch, you know, in a small space. So you guys, that's it. Look at the page. I'm kind of excited for it. <laughs> I do like it. I do like it. And uh, I've just been happy recently, like with the pages and how they're turning out. Like they always seem to come together. I don't know why. Every once in a while we get one that's just a humdinger and it's like, oh, geez, Louise. Um, we'll just chalk it up for fun. But but overall, I'm happy with this page. I really, I really do uh, enjoy it. And I'm super happy that, you know, we have the opportunity to kind of use our stuff as always. So I'm going to ink a little bit more around the edges and then I think I can't remember if I'm going to put it in my book or not for you guys, but we'll see. So there's my little prompt. There's Frank. That's it for me, you guys. I hope you find something today that inspires you. Take care.